Hello everyone! Welcome to the Deco Art Studios. My name is Pla Schneider. And I'm Crimson DeWall. And Valentine's Day is a week from today, you guys. It kind of snuck up on you really this year. Did. But I'm super excited. I love Valentine's Day for many reasons, but you know I'm a freak for pink, so of course I love <laughs> Valentine's Day. Um, today we're going to be making super cute Valentine's Day projects. Crimson is making cards, yes. and I am making this little, uh, this little monster. monster. Okay, I'll tell you why I love this little monster. Basically because it's super easy to make. Um, and I don't know about you guys, but here in Lexington, it's totally snowing, it's cold. So it's a great weekend to craft with the kids mm, yeah. and sort of be inside. Um, before we get into the monster, you ha um, I wanna tell you about the giveaway. On Monday, we're gonna be giving away to one lucky person who leaves a comment. It could be any comment, it could be any question. You will be automatically entered to win um, six Americana colors and six Galaxy glitters. And if you're familiar with our glitters, we have four, and Galaxy is the biggest. It's our biggest glitter that we have, and it's my favorite. It's I absolutely eight, love actually. it. Actually. Oh! That's even better. MJ wow. just said it's eight and eight. So that's great. you guys, that's a super great way to, to start your collection. Yes. Um, <clears throat> so back to this monster. This is one of those file boxes. Uh, I got it for a buck and it came flat. So I just built the file oh. box. And I love it because you don't want kids, you know, cutting into uh, cardboard. Yeah. So the hole's already there where the handle is. So the first step is you're going to take your Americana, which... Americana is awesome for kids because it dries super fast. The coverage is excellent. Mm -hmm. This is two coats, you guys. Look at that coverage. So you're just going to take a brush and paint the top part pink or whatever colors your kids pick. And then three stripes at the bottom. And then black around the handle, which is the monster's mouth. The next step is to glue on his face, so to speak. So we're gonna start with the eyes. Over here I used buttons, but use whatever you have at home. Just cut out a piece of cardstock. Pla, do you think they could use just any found box at home? If they... Absolutely, because you could always open the lid too. Mm -hmm. And if you wanted something a little smaller, you can use like a tissue box, you know. Yeah, that'd be perfect. So there's the eyes. And then the teeth are just little triangles, you guys. So you don't even need a pattern. And it would be fun to do, um, you know, customize the monster in your kids' favorite colors. So this is craft glue that's gonna dry nice and clear. And lastly, because he is a Valentine's Day card eating monster, he needs a little heart. <laughs> of course. And he's hungry all the time, you guys. <laughs> okay, so that part is done. The next step is, of course, he needs to sparkle now, right? Of or should course. I say she? Because she's. <laughs> <laughs> so now we're going to be adding galaxy glitter, and I am starting with ultraviolet. And I did want to point out if you look at the top of this bottle, you're not seeing liquid, you're not seeing resin. That tells you how fully loaded our galaxy glitters are. That glitter is all the way to the top there. They're so great, they're so chunky. I know. And if you look closely, there's a little bit of aqua in there. There's like two different shades of the magenta. Love, love, love. So you're just going to take a brush. And I actually prefer a fan brush, but a regular flat brush will work too. The reason I prefer a fan brush is just because it's easier to clean. And I'm going to come over here and just brush right over this stripe. So it's always a good idea to base coat um, whatever color the glitter is in Americana before applying the glitter. You'll get, you know, a nicer, smoother coverage. So I'm going to continue glittering while Crimson shows us how to make super cute cards or food for the monster. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and these are great for last minute projects and for the kids and the parents to work together. Um, so I have some here that could be like kid friendly and then like if mom or dad and wanted to make some grown-up versions you can do like a more simpler color palette and do your own thing so i'm going to show you it's they're really easy and i'm going to get out this stuff here so what i use is a freezer paper and it's good to have a slick surface i think for this project they're called sort of the idea of ink blots but i'm using paint 
Um, so the first thing you do is get a piece of small piece of paper. You could use freezer paper, wax paper, maybe even aluminum foil, and you just take paint and drip it randomly with the idea you're going to fold it in half. You just fold it over and this is a great project for kids because they can really just play around with it and they get to use their imagination then when you open it you can kind of I don't know you just use your imagination and see what does it look like to you and that's kind of what I did here I thought it looked like a poodle oh it does yeah it's so fun that you never know what you're gonna you get. never know <laughs> it'd be great to see your all's comments about what you think this looks like what should we turn that one into? Yeah. So the next step I would do is to, I tore the paper just because I like the rough edges. You can absolutely cut it if you wanted to, or if children, if it's easier for them to cut a straight line instead of trying to tear a straight line. You just kind of tear it to match the, the size of the paint blob. And you're just gonna lay it on. Press down. You pull up. It's going to look a little bit different. So if you like this rather than the more solid coverage, you can leave it like that. Or also, I like, and what I've done with these with some of them, I filled in the color because I liked, like, say this one, I filled in the paint that matched the, the original blob a little bit more. And then you just kind of fill it in. Especially if you already see what you think it's going to be. This kind of looks like a pink zebra to me, so I'm just going to add some ears. <laughs> oh my gosh, it does! <laughs> For those of you, by the way, if you're going to, uh, if you're watching on replay, as long as it's by Monday, you're so welcome to comment and you will still be automatically entered to win. That looks just like <laughs> a zebra, Crimson. So Good we'll let that dry completely. Gorgeous. And then I have one here that I, oh, it fell on the floor. Sorry, guys. I thought this one, I did it earlier. I thought it kind of looked like a frog. So what I do now is I filled in the color the way I want and then I put a red heart. And then you just add details. And this is the fun part. The kids get to draw on there any way they want. I'm doing this really fast. You can get super detailed if you want. <laughs> I, these make me laugh. So. That means you're having fun, right? So you can write Happy Valentine's Day. And you can write to and from. I know you, that's very important for the school Valentines. You gotta know who it's from. And right? you have to give one to everyone. <laughs> and then that's it. I mean, oh, actually. Not it because you have to add the sparkle. Of course. The best part. And, and that against the galaxy. Yeah, and I use the Big Bang for all of these because it's kind of encompassing of all the colors, so it's great to how use. How many colors are in there? So many. And you can just see so how it sparkles. Pretty. So pretty. Yeah. And I'll just give him a sparkly hairdo. Hey guys. Simple as that. Super cute. Yeah, I love it. So again, everyone, if you're watching this on replay or watching live, make sure to comment so you'll be automatically entered to win eight Americana acrylics and eight galaxy glitters. Um, and the colors that you receive will be a surprise. So that makes it oh. super fun too. Good luck to everybody. Thank you for watching. Um, happy Valentine's Day. And you know what? I think my monster is a little hungry. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Visit tuckoart.com for more project ideas and hope to see you here next time. Happy Valentine's Bye. Day.